Preventing gun violence in schools. The conversations continue after a gun was brought to Oak Leaf High School Wednesday. Four students were questioned. Two of them now face charges. News for Jacks reporter Marilyn Parker joining us live. Marilyn, any idea why these students brought the gun to school? No, and the school district chief of police says they didn't find anything that would indicate something was about to happen either, which is a relief. But some people say that we really should consider the mindset or the intention of kids willing to bring guns onto school grounds. A loaded gun at Oakleaf High School. Now two of four students face felony charges. The gun was found Wednesday when another student reported it. Police haven't determined who the gun belongs to. They say it's not a reported gun stolen. The investigation is ongoing. Additional resources were at the school Thursday. Clay County School District Police Chief Kenneth Wagner says he's working on making changes following this incident. I am looking at a, a brand new uh, type of uh, equipment that will help detect these type of things prior to we're getting reported. So. Uh, we, we, we're expanding some of the uh, technologies and hardwares and things like we have now. We've seen schools implement clear backpack policies. Several schools in Palm Beach County will get metal detectors as part of a pilot program. We spoke with a former school resource officer who says there are pros and cons to metal detectors, but says we have to get to the root of the problem. In your history, can you talk about reasons why some kids bring guns to school? They would bring them for quote unquote protection, not necessarily protection against people in school. It could be something in the neighborhood. It could be something, you know, on the commute to school or from school or perhaps in school. Who knows? Um, and then another reason why is because, you know, they just had access to it and they wanted to show it off. Students are seeing a lot these days. Just this week, another school shooting left three students and three staff dead. The former SRO says because of these tragedies, school districts put effort into keeping intruders out of school and rightfully so. She says the same effort should go into establishing relationships with students to hopefully prevent them from bringing weapons into school. We're told that school officials are still looking into the cause and what actually happened here. It's still an ongoing investigation. Once we get updates, we'll bring it to you both on air and online at newsforjacks.com. Reporting live in Clay County, Maryland Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.